Hey, good morning. This is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to figure out the median using a pivot table because by default uh, it won't show up. I'm going to click in here. I have uh, three states listed, Georgia, New York, and Kansas with revenue numbers. The median for the state of Georgia is the number 20. It is the middle number in those three numbers. For Kansas, the median is going to be the number 30 because internally they would be sorted. It'll be 20, 30, 60. When you have an even number of numbers like New York, it takes the two middle numbers and it will average them. So the median for New York should end up being 15. I would first make this a table, Control T. I'm going to click OK. If you want to use the mouse, feel free to use the mouse to make the table. I normally put my pivot tables on a separate sheet, but I'm going to put it here to keep up with this. So Insert Tab, Pivot Table. It picked up my table. I'm going to put it here in an existing sheet. Where do you want to put it? That works. Here's the trick. Here's trick number one you have to do. Add this data to the data model. Make sure you check that. That's very important. Click OK. I'm going to check state over to the right. And I'm going to check revenue. Just to test this, it says sum of revenue. I'm going to double click. There is count, average, and a bunch of other functions. I'm going to scroll down slowly. Trust me, median is not in here. I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to uncheck revenue. So I just proved that by default, median does not show. Here's the trick. Over to the right, I'm going to right click the name of my table and add a measure. It wants you to name it in the second row here. You can name this whatever you want to. Down below is an equal symbol already in this box. Click there. What function do you want to use? Median. What is it you want to find the median for? It's my revenue. I'm going to grab the mouse and double click. And it's really hard to see, but it needs a closed parenthesis at the end, which is Shift 9. Down below, how do you want the numbers to look? Currency, number, I'm going to go number. Do you want any decimal places? I don't. Would you like to use a thousand separator? Totally optional. I don't have any numbers in the thousand anyway, but just to plan, I would check that. Click OK. Watch what happens. You're saying, Chris, nothing happened. There's nothing in column F. Correct, but look over to the right. There is that measure you just put in. I'm going to check it. Let's see if this works. That is perfect. Look at Georgia. The three numbers are 15, 20, and 22. That is 20 is the median. Kansas is 30. 30 is the middle number over there in column B. And for New York, and for New York 12 and 18, because it's an even number, they were averaged and got 15. Let's test it one more time. GA. I'm going to put in 22. So I got four numbers for Georgia. And now New York's going to have an odd number. You're saying nothing changed in the pivot table. That's absolutely true. I need to refresh it. Pivot table, tools, analyze, refresh. Watch this. Georgia became 21 because it's taken the four numbers, the three at the top, and the one down below in row 10. It took the 20 and 22 and averaged them and gave you 21. Kansas didn't change. But New York is now 18 instead of 15 because it's 12, 18, and 100. 18 is the middle number. So there you go. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a wonderful day.